welcome back everybody. We are here ready for our first league on game of the season against Marseille, the big derby game to kick off on opening day. This is the team that we're looking to go into the game with. Kurzweil is going to play. This is going to be his last game for PSG. And uh, since the Coupe de Champion, we have made a couple of changes. Juan Bernat has gone off to Manchester City for 23.5 million. We have confirmed the signing of Lucas Hernandez. This obviously is the player that I really wanted to come in and play left back for us. We have now managed to get all of our targets for the season. He's come in, you can see there, he's, uh, he's valued at 53 to 58 million. We have bought him in for an initial 44. That is split up between uh, a lump sum and then some installments. And then we have another 6 million to pay once he's played 50 league games for the club. So I think it's a really good deal. I really think he's worth it. French national. So we've added a, another French player to the squad for our Champions League registration, which is really good. He's just joined today, so he's not going to start, but I do have him on the bench. And uh, apart from Lucas Hernandez, we have also confirmed the signing of Feitu Moasa. So uh, a really good solid backup left back. Um, you can see there he's only earning £18,000 a week. Kurzawa makes just short of 90000 a week. So we're making about 70000 a week back on that. Uh, which is good because Lucas Hernandez is making 325000 a week. Um, but with, uh, with Kurzawa going, with uh, Juan Banat leaving, uh, Juan Banat was on 140000 a week. So we've made up more or less what we're paying Lucas Hernandez. So it's not that different. Um, so really, really pleased about that business. Uh, also, speaking of Juan Banat going to Manchester City, Manchester City also signed Robert Lewandowski. He was in the last year of his contract with Bayern Munich. They put in a bid of about 26 million for him. At the time, I didn't have any money in the transfer budget to compete with him. So, um, yeah, he went to Manchester City. So they are going to be really, really dangerous with, uh, with Robert Lewandowski this season. But we, of course, now have Erling Haaland. So... We are not uh, going to be too panicky about it. If we have a look at our fin finances, we are over our wage budget, which I will just adjust that just to cover the six uh, 6.75 million a week that we're spending on wages. I'll adjust it and we'll, um, we'll lose basically the last little bit of transfer budget that's left. But uh, we have done all our business now. And when Kurzawa goes, that brings in another 13 million. Hopefully, over the course of the season, we might be able to get rid of a few other players um, to be able to get somewhere near raising those 74 million we need to make the Haaland signing permanent. Um, we have still on uh, the transfer list Drafinha and also Kalen Navas. If we can move those guys on during the course of the season and Again, I would be willing to let either Paredes or Wijnaldum go if a decent offer was to come in for for one of them. And uh, again, just really hoping to, at the end of the season, be able to balance the books to be able to make this Haaland signing permanent. But um, this is the team we go with today. So uh, the same back four as the last game, the same midfield. The only change we've made is Lionel Messi comes back in on the right for Angel Di Maria. Maybe a little bit harsh given Di Maria's really good performance in the uh, Coupe de Champion. But um, obviously Messi is our vice captain. He had an exceptional pre-season, made, made a really good partnership or the starts are a really good partnership with Haaland. You can see these physicals are starting to st suffer a little bit now. Really has no stamina or strength. Um, he, he, he was really struggling at the end of last season to play more than one game a week. So um, we're going to have to see. We've got the option to extend his contract for another year. Uh, but he is on 1.2 million a week, which is obviously hammering us on the, the wage budget. We're, I'm going to keep an eye on how his physicals go. 
if they really drop through the floor and uh, and he, his performances start to suffer we may have to evaluate if that uh, 1.2 million a week is worth it but we are going in now to uh, to the game with Marseille a, as we say a huge derby game to start the season really really nice way to start the season off one of our main contenders or one of our main competitors for the title as well so if we could get a really dominant win here then uh, that that really shows where we are and where the rest are we did beat them twice last season i think it was a 1-0 win away and a 3-1 win at home let's see if we can do better than that now i think we have a much much better team now let's just set up they are actually i think they have changed their formation from last season i think last season they played a 4-4-2 they are now playing a 4-3-3 with uh, attacking wingers so i am just going to adjust our distribution from the goalkeeper but i am going to leave us as playing out from defense i feel like we're good enough to do it even against those three forwards that they've got so we'll just set up the marking milic who is an exceptional striker will cause us problems if we are not careful just change up that distribution from the goalkeeper the rest i'm gonna leave let's get into this let's see if we can get the players motivated It looks like they're up for this one today. Just one more to get the four players motivated. I think it motivated more the players on the bench. Haaland and Dibblers, they've just come back in. Maybe, uh, maybe still not buying into the team talks, but that'll certainly come in time. And you can see our recent results on the right hand side of the screen there you can see how our pre-season was um Besiktas and zenit were the best play teams that we played and um hopefully we are going to carry that goal scoring form into the season now we beat Besiktas six nil harland got four against them so that's a pretty good level of opposition we actually drew with them last year in in pre-season so let's see if we can get our title defense off to a really big start as we say there is n there are no excuses now we have got the squad that we wanted we've got all the players that we wanted really i'm i'm the French Ole Gunnar Solskjaer now I've spent the money I've put the team together I've really got to go out and now get results I think we have to be judging ourselves this season on how that Champions League goes we have to be trying to go one better with the squad that we've got we have to be looking to win that competition in order to mark any sort of progress this season so the first highlight of the game and it's Marseille with the ball do we need to just press up a little bit on them we're leaving those defenders but Barella straight in there he's just such a magnificent midfielder thought Haaland might hit it there can Messi get it back into him Barella with the cross and it's Haaland on his league debut two goals in two games two headers for Haaland just absolutely phenomenal in the air i mean you can just you can even see his character model here he's just towering above everybody and his first goal in front of the park the prance crowd has us one nil up I really want to see us now go on and have a really dominant display. Let's really put our rivals to the sword. Really get the rest of the league worried about competing with us for the rest of the season. Again, they're just it looks like we're giving them a bit of time at the back. Just really got to judge as the game goes on. Really got to judge 
uh, how much we want to let them have that ball there because they are playing it around a bit there. Do we need to win it higher up and just prevent them starting to build from there? Or when they come into this midfield area, like there, it's Barella again winning it back. Of course, on his league on debut, and Paolo Dibola gets his first goal. Two games for him now, his first goal. Didn't score in preseason, so really nice for him to get his league career with Paris Saint Germain off to that start. We actually just changed him to. Uh, an advanced playmaker on attack. He was previously on support. We've changed him onto attack just to try and get him into the box a bit more. And there you see the results of it. Let's praise the players. Let's get a good positive response from them before half time. You can see we've actually only had six shots at goal. I mean, it hasn't been all one way traffic, but. We have been the better team. And now Messi sets Dibbler off again. Maybe he should have done better with that chance. But you can see Dibbler, as, a, as an advanced playmaker on attack, is just making those runs to get in beyond, beyond the striker. Really difficult to cover those third man runs as Haaland sets up Leo Messi. And his season is off and running too. And these two... We, we saw in pre-season just a, a few sparks, a few different games where Messi assisted Haaland, Haaland assisted Messi. And I think these two are going to be a phenomenal partnership this season. Maybe Messi losing his pace with all the other world-class attributes that he has. Maybe he's going to be able to compensate for that lack of physical presence. And here could Messi get a free kick. It's a long way out. And was that a double save? It was a double save, but Neymar offside. And it stays 3-0. So, again, we've really just worn them down. They just have not been able to compete with our quality. Barella and Verratti in midfield just look absolutely exceptional. As Neymar misses another. We're just now creating chances at will. It started pretty slow, but we end up the half there with 14 shots at goal, eight on target. Just absolutely delighted. Got to be happy with that. Again, I know they say not to praise the players at half time in Football Manager, but I can't help it after that first half performance. Absolutely sensational. Let's demand more of them now. And Dibbler maybe starting to feel it a little bit. Messi just coming back from injury. I think we'll we'll look to get uh, Angel Di Maria involved a little bit later. As Dibbler off he goes again. He's been absolutely fantastic today. Although he does mis misplace that pass there. It was a good opportunity to try and get Neymar in with a through ball. And Kurzawa... I think we're certainly going to miss having Kurzawa in the squad. He is really useful. As Neymar now sets up Paolo Dibola. Two goals for him. What a performance this is turning into. Our huge rivals Marseille. Absolutely destroyed. Taken apart. And this is just a dream team that we have. This forward line is just ridiculous. I would suggest even better than last season with Icardi and Mbappe. This, this front line this season, I think, can go on to score even more goals than they did. Wonderful, wonderful performance. And Verratti and Barella in midfield as well have just been out of this world. Barella winning it back there and Messi again tracking back to help, help on the defence. And this is just, this is just 1970s Brazil. Haaland, emphatic. Absolutely spanked it in. I'm pretty sure the goalkeeper must have ducked his head out of the way. 
he wouldn't have wanted to have been in front of that one. Dibala sends him through. What a what a league debut from Dibala. And look at this finish from Haaland. Incredible. What a performance today from these players. Absolutely wonderful. Let's make some changes here. Let's give uh, let's give some more players some time on the field. And it will give Kurzweil the chance to get his applause from the Parc de Prance crowd as he leaves for Inter Milan. What is Hernandez's best position? I think we're going to bring him on as a complete fullback. Have a complete fullback on each side. Get those really good supporting forward runs in there. And I think we might change up Dibola, although he's on a hat trick. I think... Shall we leave Dibbler on? I'd love to see him get a debut hat-trick. Let's leave him on for the moment. We'll give it another 10 minutes before we make any more changes. Lucas Hernandez gets his Paris Saint-Germain debut. And I think you can see the way this league season is going to go. No one is going to be able to get near us this season. No one is going to be able to compete with this all-star squad. Hernandez here gets a touch. Gets his first opportunity to show the Paris Saint-Germain fans what he's all about as he sets up Erling Haaland. What an introduction for Hernandez. Haaland with two more goals on his league debut. 6-0 against one of the big contenders in League 1. Haaland with another header. Sorry, is that that's Haaland's hat-trick, isn't it? He's got a league debut hat-trick. Let's make these changes then. 72 minutes, 6-0 up. We will take off Neymar for Ankel Di Maria. Give him the chance to just uh, show himself in front of the fans. As I say, felt a little bit bad for him just after that amazing performance uh, in the uh, in the Coupe de Champion. We're going to get Jazici the chance to come in and play there. I will leave Messi on. His, his condition is still not too bad. Di Marie and Jesicci. Bellotti's league debut is going to have to wait. As we now get... I thought we were going to get another corner there and another attack. I think this, there's still another goal in this game. I really do. Marseille have just been completely unable to deal with us. Jesicci losing the ball there. That's a... Poor pass from him, and it gives them a counter-attack opportunity. I really wanted the clean sheet. Ah, that's disappointing. Even with such an emphatic win, I'm, I want to clear up these goals against. I do feel like we are a little bit too easy to score against. I think um, Liverpool and Bayern Munich in the, uh, in the Club World Cup showed that we can be got out. So I really want to see us improve that side. Um, I think Barella is going to help a lot with his introduction in midfield and Hernandez in the defence as well. But um, yeah, I would like to see a, a lot more clean sheets this season. Again, just another sloppy pass there. It was Barella losing that one. The Paris Saint-Germain fans are just going to be absolutely emphatic with this they are going to be partying on the streets of Paris after this one Messi sets up Haaland for his fourth of the game what a pass this is from Marquinhos Messi just a simple touch across and Haaland has goal number four six in his first two games for Paris Saint-Germain incredible it's 38 and a half million for one season of Erling Haaland. 
at the moment it's looking worth every penny. Di Maria, and he gets the penalty. It will be messy to take it to get his second of the game, and it would complete an 8-1 route. Well done, Di Maria. Winning the penalty. Can Messi complete this incredible start to the season? Of course he can. He has a 100% penalty record for us. Paris Saint-Germain, 8, Marseille, 1. I think you can see why I'm not planning to come back for too many league on games this season. Um, I'm really not expecting anybody to be able to compete with us. I would really love to see us break 100 points. What a win that is. Marseille just completely powerless to resist. Um, what can you say? Erling Haaland, four goals. Messi with two. Dibola with two. Absolutely incredible performance. Kurzawa says his goodbyes to the Parc de Prance. And what a start to the season we've had. Absolutely delighted with that. Full house at the Parc de Prance. Seeing this incredible Paris Saint-Germain team playing before their eyes. What a start. Uh, if we just have a look here. If we just have a look here at our schedule, see when we might come back. Obviously, Champions League groups haven't been drawn yet. Um, I think the obvious games right now are Leon away in September. I think I will see how they are going along in their league campaign. If they're up there at the top of the table, we might come back for that. Or if not, we might come back for Lille at home in October. Um, outside of that, it will be for the Champions League. I think this Paris Saint-Germain team is going to break all sorts of records. Just what a performance from them today. Um, what a way to start the season. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you've enjoyed that, give us a like, give us a subscribe, uh, share with your friends, and we will see you very soon for the next episode of the Harlem fucking Globetrotters.